How you guys doing? We are back with yet another feeding video of the Monster Pond here. So you know every few months we like to give you guys an updated feed video. Well today I'm going to feed these guys 8 pounds of food. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering what we are feeding now. This is a new type of fish that I've found that I really, really, really like. This is called whiting. We bought, buy this in two pound bags and it is a white fish and it comes with the skin on. So the fish are getting actually a little bit more nutrients than just tilapia fillets. And this is a lot cheaper than tilapia. So I've been real happy with, with this feed and this is what we have been using so before we feed the monsters we're going to come up here and we are going to feed the baby shack koi there's the shack koi sturgeons and high fin banded sharks in here They're like little inside. piranhas oh yeah. that's a big cloud of food <laughs> so this uh tub is just a hodgepodge of Smaller pellets, floating, sinking, flakes, all kinds of stuff. Stuff that people brought in and, you know, there's leftover stuff in their, their tanks. So you can see the high fins are moving in on the food as well. They are all over. There's, uh, I believe, eight of the, these guys. And then somewhere, swimming around, you will see two sterlet sturgeons. Look at these guys. They're just adorable. They are tiny, but they are also eating good as well. You will see them doing flips in the morning. Look at them right there. Kind of hard to keep your uh, camera on them because they're so fast moving. But there they are. They flip upside down. They eat. They're going after pellets. So these guys are doing great. And this is a cold water tank. So the water's probably around 65 degrees. We have uh, warm water pumped in at a slow rate. But it is in a colder room. So these guys are pretty much in their optimal temperature right now. But just like that, most of the food is gone. You will have a few uh, stragglers coming in, cleaning up the bottom. You know what gets me? We put all that rocks in there because they were pulling all the dirt out of around this plant and killing this plant. We put all the gravel in there. Now look what they did to my sand. They got all the gravel out. They're pulling it out. All right, moving on to the monsters. We have this eight pound bag of food here. I took out a, a little piece here. This is for someone special. We're going to give you at the end of the video. But first, let's see if Brutus wants This is a whole filet. Let's see if Brutus wants it. Ready, bud? Oop, he took it in, spit it out. That's not like Brutus. But one of the catfish. One of the catfish will get it. Let's see if these guards want to eat. I'm going to watch my fingers. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about the arowana? You want it, bud? Oh, he got it. Oh, nope, he missed it. Well, the catfish like it, I know that much. Oh yeah, let's tear it up. We got the platinum gars coming down. So you're gonna be able to take that whole piece? Take that small piece and throw it in front of your own one, I hope they Oh yeah. Let's see if we can get this small gar again. I'm waiting for the big gar to come over. These gars eat really, yeah, really well. Want to get them prune sharks uh, devouring some pieces here. Oh, the big gar came and took that big filet on the yep. bottom. <laughs> Look at that big old peacock bass down there. Wow. There we go. Oh, you coming up for some more? He likes to get up close and personal. Nope. So this is something we really don't do too often, so the fish don't know to come up and attack the food. We just usually throw it in and walk away. 
But for video pleasure, we try and do it piece by piece so you guys can see some of the action. We got the red tail cats down there starting to clean up the bottom. Up, oh, we've got, up, oh, there he goes. He just took a big piece. And we've got Godzilla, the giant Mexican musk turtle. He'll get over on, on this food and start tearing it up. Looks like the Sparata's coming over. He'll definitely get some. Oh, we got the Platinum Gar coming back over. Oh, he just took it. Nice. Let's see if we can get the big Gar over here. There she comes. This one is always dangerous to feed because she just chomps away. Oh, I scared her. Seems like a couple of big guys are interested in the new food. Well, sometimes they're not hungry. <laughs> big gars coming back down for more. <laughs> I did just feed him last night. Here you go, buddy. Want some of this? Here you go. <laughs> so he is hungry. He's just picky. He's not hungry, but he'll eat if he enjoys it. Right. Uh, oh, there goes Godzilla coming over. Oh, he's going to tear a piece up. Some skylights kill me. No matter which angle you're at, something screws it up. Right. There you go. Now you can see Godzilla. He is just a big bully. He'll bully these big old fish out the way and get what's his. Uh -oh. Right in front of you, bud. Oh, he's swimming past it. You big dummy. He must not be able to see very well. All right, let's go feed some of these other guys. Okay, so we are in here in the fish room. Let's see if Hubert wants some fish. Oh, look at that. There you go, Hubert. Get it, get it, get it. He's such a cutie. So his shell is healing up very, very nicely. I just want to make sure he's going to bite through it and or swallow this. Because if not, I'm going to pull it back out of his mouth and rip him up in smaller chunks. But it surprises me the, the amount, the size of apples that he eats. And he just munches through them. There he goes. He's ripping it up. Look at that adorable little face. Hubert, you keep running from the camera. I see how he uses his front, front feet to hold it and then he rips it with his mouth. But you can see right there where that gap is almost closed and it's gonna be another circle and it's closing in this way. We've been working hard to try and uh, get this wound healed up, but it is a very, very slow process. Come on, Hubert. You've got this, buddy. Look at that. Oh, he's almost done with that piece. Coming up for, for some air. You done, bud? He said, nope. Back for round two. <laughs> All right. While Hubert demolishes that, we're going to go and feed someone else. You guys have been dying for it. Okay, over here we have my main man, Tesla. Let's see how big of a piece he can take down. Here goes a whole 
waiting filet. Let's see if he, he likes it. Now normally I'd jump up the water, but I don't want the electrical current coming through the, the fish filet and shocking me in my hand. You can see he's already got a full belly. I let him turn around and we will give him some more food. Over here, bud. Oh, there we go. Come on. All right, let's drop it in. Let's see if he notices. Oh, he's coming over for it. He knows something's in his pond. Ooh, look at that. Taking it down like a champ. That's my boy Tesla. Whole fillets. You can see he'll just work it down his throat. And right now he's probably zapping the crap out of it. But that is okay. You just got to be careful. Beautiful Tesla. And look at that belly on him. Gotta just love seeing that. Knowing that day your fish are full and happy. Very, very fun. All right, I got a few more fillets. Let's see who else we can feed. All right, up here is the Abanife. Let's see if he will go after this whiting. This is the first time we are trying it. So this could be a hit or miss. It was a miss with the Black Devil, but he normally likes to tilapia and cut fish, so let us see. Well, he's running from it now. Is he going to get it? Oh, he smelled it and ran. <laughs> I'll try a second time. Get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> now I ain't reaching my hand in there to grab that one. All right, let's see. Round three, you gonna get it? Come on, get it, bud. No, nope, he might not like this. He might be stuck on his tilapia. I don't get it, because it looks like tilapia. How can he tell the difference? He hasn't actually tasted it yet. Of course we threw some in for the lovely stingrays. You can see they are already full and happy, but they are going to town and eating yet more cut fish. Usually the stingrays take whatever we give them. So I just like throwing in a variety of food between pellets, cut fish, and even blood worms. Everyone is just chowing down on it now. Look at that, we even have the little baby super white cross male from J4 Flower Horns. He is also dominating the cut fish. Healthy, healthy Ray. All right, so you've seen all these monsters eat. You can see there's lots of breeding activity going on in the monster pond. Could be the change in the weather, who knows. But uh, nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will be doing more frequently. Of course, I'd like to give you guys a feeding video every month or two. So uh, stay tuned for the next one. I will do different tanks and uh, try and give you a little bit of variety every time I do a different feeding video. But I did like the uh, whiting fillets we picked up, so we might keep on buying them. It is uh, a cheaper feed than the tilapia, and the fish really seem to like it. Did you tell them about the tilapia trying to breed down here all by himself? <laughs> yep, you can see there he is in, in his nest, but he's chasing people around like crazy. I've never but, seen him go after big fish like that, and he's been keeping them away from his barren spot in the gravel. <laughs> all right, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more crazy adventures with the Ohio Fish Rescue, 
be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, stay fishy, my friends.